you'll see how amazingly fast and easy to remove the rear brake pads on a Chrysler Crossfire or exactly the same on many Mercedes-Benz cars such as the C-Class, CLK class, S class, W203, W202. Just check out the full list in the description below. If interested in changing the front brake pads, then I'll leave that video in the description below as well. So first you need to gather all of these tools, such as a pry bar, hammer, flat tip screwdriver, ratchet, 17 millimeter socket chisel, a pointing tip, or a long nail. Likewise, just check out all of these tools and supplies like the brake pads used. It will all be in the description below. And when checking that out, if you could subscribe, that would be great. You'll continue to learn some amazing tips, tricks, and hacks when working on your car. Now, let's get to it. First, lift up the car. And this might sound weird as I'm working on the rear brakes, but the best way to raise the car is to use a floor jack in the front and then place a jack stand on the rear jack point area for the car to rest on. Then remove the wheel. Now, this pin is what holds the brake pads tightly in place. So let's remove it. You are not removing the caliper. It is unnecessary and more work. So let's work smarter, not harder. I'm using a pry bar or a pointed tip right here and a hammer. The goal is to get this pin out and you can use a bunch of different tools or combinations to do that. Once you hammer it a little bit, then get a screw or a thin pick to punch this pin completely through. Pay careful attention towards the brake line. I suggest grabbing a chisel, pry bar, or flat tool and put pressure on the sliding pin, flexing it towards you. This way the pin will have less pressure and you can remove it faster without hurting the brake line. Now when you remove this thin tool or screw, the retaining clip will fly outwards and will hit you in the face. So keep your other hand in front so it doesn't fly out and smack you. Next, wiggle out the brake pads. You may want to use a pair of pliers to remove them. Here's how the old pads look. And these are the new pads side by side. Grab some brake lube or anti-seize and smear it on the brake plate only. You don't need a lot of this. Okay, so it doesn't hurt to open the hood and loosen the brake fluid reservoir cap near the driver's side in case you press too hard when compressing the caliper piston. Now grab your pry bar and push on the inside of the caliper piston to reduce the tension. Do it slowly on each side. This is so you don't leak any brake fluid from the hood as previously mentioned. After this, clean the entire area with some cleaner and some shop towels or a brush to pick up any brake dust that has formed over the years. This is important to help reduce brake noise. Now grab one of the brake pads and put it in paying close attention which side the pad touches. In this case, the thick gray material touches the rotor and the back side that was lubed touches the caliper side that was pushed against with the pry bar. If it doesn't go in with ease, use the pry bar to push on the caliper again before reinserting the new pad. Now grab that clip or bracket and while putting pressure on it with your thumbs, put the pin through. Keep in mind it's under tension and when you push it or flex this bracket, it makes it easier to slide the pin in and across. Here's another helpful trick you can do to get it in easier. Grab a flat bar and bend the pin so it's straight. Then hammer it in. You shouldn't have difficulty lining up the pin through the pads. But if you do, you may have bad pads. I previously bought some Bosch brake pads and one or two of them were faulty and made a terrible squeal noise. So make sure you check the customer reviews before buying any pads so you don't have to redo the simple job. Again, all tools and supplies are in the description below. The end result you're looking for is for the pin's end tip to be sticking out like it was before you originally removed it. If this has helped so far, please like and subscribe. Now to finish up, it doesn't hurt to use some brake cleaner on here before you reinstall the tire and then remove the jack stand and floor jack. Once back on the ground, torque the wheel lug nuts to 81 foot pounds in a star-shaped pattern. Don't forget to put the brake cap back on. And very important, make sure you pump the brakes so the brake pads are nice and tight on the rotor. This job took me about 45 minutes to do, and half the time, 
was me actually getting the supplies together, which is why I left all tools and supplies in the description below for easy reference, as well as the link to changing the front brake pad for you to watch, as changing the front is completely different than changing the rear pads. This was so easy to do, and I wish more cars were like this. Please mention in the comments if this helped you, or mention anything to the other viewers. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and have a great day, or night!